Morris Avalanche. And I'm a student at Parsons New School with two weeks and one day left. So I'm so excited. This is the bag that I submitted for the Independent Handbag Awards. It can actually be worn two ways. So this is the backpack. This way as well. I just want them to have a bag that nobody else has. And the idea of making like um, a mini universe for someone to have and take with them everywhere is something that really excites me and learning about what a woman wants to have with her every day, what she needs available to her every day that can be contained in a bag. Actually my secret name for it is the out of time bag because it's, it's beyond time. So the materials I used, plastic, and this paper I found. So basically, flower petals inside, kind of like so, between two layers of plastic, heat press them. This is an example of a very large piece of many of these flower petals, all pressed together. The lining is this kind of deep turquoise velvet, and so it kind of gives it a little bit of an added purple hue when combined together. It's the conversations with women about bags that really inspired these see-through pockets. So often purses become like black holes and you're just like, you can lose things forever in them. Sometimes it feels like. I was inspired to create a pocket that kind of mimicked the outside fabric, but was really more functional and easy for women to determine what's available to them. Really excited about neoprene. And I, I love plastics and vinyl material, I'm making um, a corset and a rain jacket out of this right now. It's really fun. I've mostly been playing with heat press at this point in time. I love these stranger fabrics and finding somewhat practical ways to bring them into the real world, even though they're kind of abstract. They exist in a bit of a different way than other materials. I was doing photography before doing fine art and feeling kind of empty about my work really just being for me and whoever happened to like it really wanted to make something that existed in the real world as an object and was for an individual or a certain type of person that I felt like I could serve and would enjoy what I made and could actually go out into the world and exist in real life.